и Intel Extreme Masters, жизнь модельная вежа Intel. Hello, this is Gameplay DNA. We're coming to you from Intel Extreme Masters Karavica, and we're here at the players area where we just spoke to SK Gaming's manager and coach Interflame. Let's see what I had to say. Firstly, I think we have to address the unique style of SK Gaming. He seemed to place uh, a lot of trust onto forgiven shoulders and he seldom disappoints. Are you satisfied with his performance overall? Uh, forgiven in specific? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, generally he plays well. Um, but, you know, when you lose, it's a team effort. Um, uh, everyone's to blame in some way, you know, usually. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, everyone has their flaws. Uh, everyone in the team has their flaws, Forgiven's no exception. Um, and when we lose a game like that, then, uh, yeah, I mean, it's everyone Everyone has to take it upon themselves. Mm, he was playing Lucian these past weeks so much, while other regions and teams uh, have turned away from the champion after the recent nerves. How does he manage to pull it off? Um, so, why I, why I think we've had a lot of Lucian bans in the last, uh, like, uh, over the last day or two, um, it's due to the fact that most regions aren't used to playing against Ocean anymore. It has a good matchup into many AD carries, and I think it's kind of been a forgotten AD carry since the nerfs. Um, yeah, I, I still don't think it's a bad champion. Um, actually, funnily enough, I believe Prey has been playing it as well in Korea. So, um, it's not like it's not seen, I just feel it's a little bit forgotten. Uh, for our next question, I feel like uh, our fans want to know what happened in the game versus the G Tigers. Could you elaborate? Um, so, we actually played the first 20 minutes pretty, pretty decently. We actually at one point had an advantage. Um, but we let ourselves get caught way too many times. And uh, being the team that they are, they kind of capitalized on it. Uh, took over the vision and like once we lost all the vision everywhere, we couldn't contest vision anywhere. And I think it was at the point where we couldn't contest the vision anymore, we kind of lost the game. Uh, both the G Tigers and the Euro Flash Wolves in, this, in their second match seem to target uh, the bottom lane, uh, thus shutting down your early objective uh, gameplay. Uh, what was going on at the pick and, pick and ban phase in terms of communication? Um, against GE? Okay. Uh, so our pick and ban against GE. Um, I mean, like, people might say that, oh, we should have done this, we should have done that. But, um, it was more banning to stop a certain playstyle uh, than specifically banning towards the team. Um, I mean, for example, the Zed ban might have surprised everyone, but if they did start practicing it, we didn't want to like risk playing against it because it would have shut down what we would have wanted to do in the game. So, what I think, yeah, we might, we could have drafted better. Uh, I don't think it was like necessarily that. Uh, I just think. Maybe we just need to change the way we draft next time, the next time we get the opportunity to play a team like that. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think our draft was the best, but I don't think it was as bad as everyone makes it out to be. And what about uh, your flash holes? The, the game, I guess, the, the second game? So the second game? Um, so I think our draft was fine. I think we maybe could have picked some, um, a different champ into the Maokai, because we saw the early Maokai Rek'Sai. Um, yeah, I think we could have like looked to pick something else in the place and not. I just feel we tunneled on uh, certain picks um, and almost cornered ourselves. We didn't let them corner us, but we almost, almost cornered ourselves into a pick um, when we had other options available. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all a learning experience. It's like good that we lost the game. Um, it's good to have international experience as well, and I think. This will help us perform a lot better in the coming weeks in LCS. Do you feel like you're going to be stronger and, and you're going to uh, win the LCS altogether? Um, yeah, I, I still think so. Um, I mean, there are teams like H2K who are doing really well at the moment. Um, Fnatic have always been doing pretty decently. But I feel confident against everyone in our region at least, and I hope we can represent Europe again in a better way than we have at this tournament. Do you feel like you uh, have to find another specific uh, game style, uh, so, some new strategies? Because we saw uh, it, it can be shut down uh, in the international scene. Um, I just think it was poorly executed by us. Rather than us being shut down, 
I think it was yeah our poor execution. Okay, thank you very much and good luck in the LCS.